my friends. Hi, welcome back. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas and I'm excited to be here. I'm filming midday, very different for me. Lighting might be a little <laughs> dimmer than usual, but I had to do it as soon as this package came. I had to do it, you guys. Gabrielle Union released a collection with Fashion to Figure and I have been excited about it since I first <laughs> learned about it and I've been super hyped up so as soon as it all came out you know I had to get my hands on it and I have the collection here I got it I got a big old box right there full of everything I'm super hyped up about it I really am um, this video is obviously sponsored by fashion figure they are my BFFs for life for life I do have a code for you guys quick little pop in from the future the code got changed last second so the new code is actually Sarah s-a-r-a-h because as I'm gonna get into in this video some of these pieces <clears throat> The price tag might be a little bit higher than what you're used to seeing from Fashion to Figure, and I'll get into it. But um, you can use the code Sarah to get 35% off of new arrivals and the Gabrielle Union collection. It's not compatible with like sales and um, the red line, so don't try it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. Now, I was online and you know, I saw the drop like happened online and I was reading the comments and people's sort of criticisms and stuff like that and I personally from the perspective of someone that's worked with fashion figure and a plus size consumer for my living basically um, I wanted to just quickly address a little bit there I saw a lot of people kind of upset that they had someone that is straight size um, you know, create a collection for people that are plus size. And if you guys didn't know, Gabrielle Union has been doing collections with New York and Company for freaking ever. And New York and Company and Fashion to Figure are, you know, they're sisters basically. So um, I thought it made perfect sense to make the jump over. And um, a lot of people, just the criticism that I saw was like, well, she doesn't know how to dress plus size body because she's not plus size. Um, but at the same time, like, you know, if someone is a size small and they're creating a collection for straight sizes, they don't wear a size extra large, even though the collection is going to come out in an extra large, you know? Um, I think at the end of the day, she has style, she had direction, she had a vision here, and I think that if a straight size person was ever going to make a plus size collaboration, I'm glad to see that it wasn't at New York and Company who doesn't do plus sizes. I am, like thrilled to see that it was with Fashion to Figure, whose entire brand is about plus size. It made sense to go to a company that does plus sizes and does it pretty damn well. Their fit is amazing. And again, as someone who has worked with them, because I created my own collection with them, um, Fashion to Figure knows the bodies. They know their consumer. They know how to create clothing. So I think personally, this was a perfect little match, okay? Let's get into it. This is the item that took my breath away. I was so hyped up when I saw it, okay? I was so excited. I couldn't wait to get it on. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I saw the price tag and then I was like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. So this one, uh, regular price is just shy of $200, I think, $199. And it does actually um, clip together here. So I was just showing you guys like the Boogalicious version. Uh, but you don't have to do that. It has hook and eye closures here. And so you could, theoretically, you could leave it open if you wanted, or you could um, go ahead and close it up, you know, keep the ladies covered. Anyway, so as much as I would love for this to just be one big old love fest, I'm gonna have some criticisms uh, of the items because I have the great pleasure of being able to keep it totally real when it comes to fashion to figure and doesn't damage me at all. <laughs> I was super hyped up about this jumpsuit because it's not something that you typically see offered in plus sizes. And I would say that that's true of a few of the different items here. Um, and so I was really excited to get it and try it out. And unless otherwise stated, you can assume that every single piece that I have is in a size one, um, which for fashion figure is a 14, 16, but really it's like a true, true, true plus size 16 in my opinion um, and I'm someone who's on the cusp all the time of a 16 18 and so um, this is a very true like plus size basically like a very forgiving 16 um, that being said that's their typical sizing this jumpsuit <clears throat> This is not, I mean, if I didn't have the exact body proportions that I have, I couldn't have got it on. And I needed an assist. Like, it's beautiful. It has this whole kind of caped 
draping thing. Obviously, we are just doused in sequins here. Look at this butt. Like, it really makes my butt pop out, which I love because, I mean, I don't think my butt's even really that big to begin with, so I like when it gets a little, like, showtime. Um, I did need an assist putting this on, and it took him a minute. <laughs> it took him a minute to get it on. Um, it does have pockets. You guys already know fashion figure does not play. They love pockets. And um, this cape piece, it is connected, so it's not gonna come off. And my boyfriend insisted that I show you that you can wear it as a hat, he said, for the church prom. This is for you, Lewis. I did it. And then it also has this belt, which you can actually open and close and everything. And then in the back, it does have a uh, button closure here, and then it has a closure here as well, and the zipper that goes all the way down here. Um, is it right there? Maybe down towards the butt. Because of the amount of sequins and the stitching and stuff that's happening on the waistband, it is not the easiest thing to get up and down for sure. Um, like I said, I really needed an assist and I am very used to putting clothes on and taking them off without you know, having to phone a friend. But that's not a deal breaker for me. The belt is also completely adjustable and it's really there kind of for show more than anything I feel like. This is an extremely fitted jumpsuit. It goes basically down to my ankle. It tapers, not crazy, crazy tapering, but with heels, this is a fine look. I would maybe take it up and in just like an inch. Like that's it, that would be perfect for me personally at 5'4". And I wear like a 42C, 40D, I'm somewhere in that range. And this stuff is fitting me to a T. Like this could have been created for my body, okay? If I was just a little bit bigger, this wouldn't have gone on, this wouldn't have fit. I am comfortable, it's fine. Um, it looks really good, but <laughs> Unlike most of their size ones, this is not gonna like stretch and accommodate everybody and their mama. Um, it does have stretch in it, but it's also very much a structured piece. And my only one real, real criticism here is that because the sequins go all the way around, they're in between the thigh. And what do you think happens when big old thighs connect and there's a bunch of sequins in between them? One, it ain't quiet. <laughs> But two, the sequins, unfortunately, it just in this line that I just did, the sequins will rub off in the center. So um, there's really nothing you can do about that unless you wanna walk like this, which is okay if this is like your walk to begin with, but otherwise it might not be, you know. Just take that into account. I personally don't mind. It is what it is. Do it for fashion. Oh, you know what I wanted to tell you before I forget? is that like, okay, like, the last one, like I said, it's a little bit more than you might be used to spending. That being said, it's a different piece. This isn't just fashion figures old run of the mill. Not that I don't love you run of the mill, okay, I love you every day, but um, they do have the tags inside. Don't look at my fingers. I didn't get my nails done this week because other things took priority. You see the little tag in there? It definitely all has a more luxe sort of a vibe to it, including this little Grecian dress. How cute is this? Okay, so Fashion Figure does this draping sort of dress very well. They've done it many times. I tend to think that I cannot really wear it. Like, I don't pull this dress off normally. Um, I do like how this one looks. I just wish I was taller. I think if I was taller, that I would love these dresses. But of course, that's what heels are for, so, you know what I'm saying? There are always solutions for these little things. This is beautiful though, like the material is beautiful, and the way it works, in case you're curious here, is there's almost like a whole second dress underneath. So it's almost like you have a little body kind down here, and that's where your boobies are, and then you have this additional layer of draping over it, which is nice because it kind of disguises any belly line should you have one. It gives you this really pretty sort of like cascading effect on the side. And then back here, this is where things get tricky for me. Because of the extra material, it does tend to hang a little bit lower. And of course, today of all days, I didn't wear my strapless bra because I didn't know I was gonna do this. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Ignore that, but then it also ties in the back so you can make it as tight or as loose as needed. It is a really gorgeous dress. This one comes in, I think, around 129 and change. You know, I'm definitely getting a little uh, shimmery effect. It looks like I used <laughs> some body shimmer, but it's a really pretty material, if you can see. It's not that it's, gl is it, I mean, it's not really glittery per se, but 
you can tell that it has that like sheen and shimmer inside of it, that metallic-y kind of effect. I don't even know if I would call it gold or silver or kind of a mix of both. It's really pretty though, I mean, and of course it fits great. It's a very comfortable dress, it stretches a lot. You're not gonna be uncomfortable in this dress unless um, it's too heavy for you. So with dresses like this, I tend to think that sizing down is the way to go. Uh, Cause like I said, they tend to have a little bit more weight to them and all of this extra kind of, you know, it can become a little bit much on your frame if you're in between sizes. So I would potentially myself even do a size zero instead of a size, well actually I would for sure do a size zero because this is the part, this is really the only part that's, you know, stretching to accommodate my body. This is a tie. So I would do a size zero, I would size down if you're thinking about this dress, if you're kind of in between sizes. Guys, hi little pup, hi little pupper. Guys, when I saw this one in the pictures, I was like, oh yeah, that's definitely something that I'm gonna love. Like this is my style, I love the whole shh. I love like the full, you know, coverage in the front. I love the sleeves, I love the velvet, honey, it's so good. It's obviously kind of like, it's a mini dress, but it's not like so many that you're, you know, or your booties gonna be hanging out. So I love that. And then when I saw the back, I was like, oh, pfft, sold. That's for me. That's the one. So it has this little strip across it. I can't figure out if that red spot is from my hair because I toned it today, or if that's from the jumpsuit I put on earlier, but don't worry about it. Um, anyway, it has all these like studs on the back of it. It's so beautiful. And then this piece is actually just buttoned on. So you can take this. Um, can you take it off? Yeah, you can just take it off. If you don't want that there, you can have a completely open back. But I do love that we get the option because that could cover a covertly placed bra. I just popped my bra open. Um, and anyway, it's a beautiful fit though. And it has this lining underneath. So you have the lining sucking you in and everything. And then you have this very stretchy, super comfortable sort of velvet. And okay, yeah, I was unboxing this stuff downstairs. I don't want to bring the bags upstairs. So I was unboxing it downstairs and I was like, oh, there's shoulder pads in this. And then I took something else out and I was like, there's shoulder pads in this. And then I said, listen, listen, I don't like shoulder pads. As a big girl, I feel big and broad enough as it is. So shoulder pads are normally a huge turnoff for me, but I gotta say, I love how it looks. Like, you, I'm sure you could take them off, even if they're not just removable, I'm sure you could snip them off, whatever. I haven't taken shoulder pads out of many things, but I'm not used to getting clothes with shoulder pads anymore, and this is just, this is a look I love. You probably couldn't even notice until I said it, and now you're like, oh, now I see them. Now I see them. This is beautiful, though. I don't know if there's a price tag on this one. There is $89.95 velvet mini dress. This whole collection just snapped off, seriously. I would have never in a million years picked this dress out for myself, okay? I wouldn't have picked it out. I wouldn't have been like, oh yeah, that bright, 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 bright neon looking highlighter over there. I want that. Because this just doesn't typically look very good on me. But I cannot deny that the style of this dress looks amazing. It's got this nice sort of oversized fluttery kind of thing going on on top, you know, which a fitted and a flowy always go together really well. Make sure one part of, you know, your outfit is fitted at least and then once part, top or bottom, doesn't matter, is just on the floor or your side. It always looks really good. It's very appealing to the eyes. So I love the style of it. The sequins, um, the, the sequin sleeve on this side goes down a bit. You can kind of adjust, go up, go down, whatever you want. There's no lining on this part. Um, and then the actual bodice itself has the lining on it. And then this is like a secondary part that is kind of flowing on top of that. So it's really comfortable because for the most part, the sequins are not against your skin, except obviously over here, your arm is going to touch the sequins. And there are, um, there is rather a zipper going up the side. I didn't have to adjust it at all to get the dress on, which I love because <laughs> I don't like dealing with zippers plus sequins. It can get a little messy and a little frustrating sometimes, especially when there's a double lining. It's challenging. So this is a really good length too. It's again like a mini dress, but you know, their mini dresses are still gonna come down about mid-thigh. Um, for me anyway, they always come down mid-thigh. They're a very comfortable length, long enough to hide a Spanx or something that also goes, um, you know, down the thigh. This looks really good, I feel like, all the way around. It's just a really appealing and flattering sort of fit, which again was my point earlier. Fashion figure knows how to cut a dress. They know how to style a plus size woman. So 
I had no fears that these clothes were gonna um, fit my body and look good on a plus size body. A plus size body that has a stomach and some jiggle and some wiggle and all that, you know? I know it's easy to make models look good and Fashion and Figure has got some beautiful models, okay? And it's really easy to make them look good. But <laughs> like on a regular, regular body over here, like it can be kind of challenging sometimes. But again, I had no worries. <gasps> okay, I'm not normally a red girl, but this is hella cute. So it has this sheer layer going on on the outside and it's actually connected right here kind of by the um, underarm and the beauty of this sort of uh, style is that you can actually adjust this a little bit and you can bring it in a little bit if you want because you have the belt or you can make it be completely on the side if you really just want it to like show your whole entire waist Obviously, it also has pockets, and it's pretty fitted um, for me. And again, the length and the cut are very similar to that last uh, jumpsuit, from the waist down at least, from the waist up. You see we have a halter this time, and it wraps all the way around the neck, and it has two buttons there in the back. This is a really fun jumpsuit. Much like the other one, though, I would say like it's definitely, you know, more on the fitted side, and although it is a stretchy material, there's stretch in it it definitely has some structure to it so if you are um, on the cusp of two sizes I would say to kind of go with that bigger size or um, definitely at least just don't size down in this one because it's going to run a little bit more fitted than some of the other ones that have more give to them but overall this is quite the look this is a uh, very dramatic and I like that the bottom is you know, longer and everything and it gives that drama, but it's not so long that like you're gonna trip on it all night. Plus it's not in front of your feet, which it makes a huge difference. I have ripped right through so many of these with my heels. And so I appreciate the fact that I can walk without ruining my whole outfit. Ah! Okay, so this dress I love is freaking ruched all over the place. Again, it has that sort of uh, glittery shimmery kind of detailing going on with it. It's like sewn into it. It's really pretty It gives it that extra sheen and shine and fanciness and it's really the little things I love that on this dress It's the right arm that's covered versus the other one that I showed you was the left arm that's covered I don't know why but personally for me. I like this arm covered more Okay, I just this is like my jam if I can find a right covered arm versus a left I'm picking it every single day. I know some of you guys have like tattoos and sleeves and stuff and you want to show it off. Or maybe you don't want to show it off. <laughs> so it's nice to have uh, both options in here. And then this one is also not a mini dress. This is actually a regular sort of like down to the knee length dress. It has the lining on it, of course. And I mean, it's a bodycon. Fashion figure knows how to do bodycons very well. And they did not disappoint. We got the ruching up the booty and there's a seam there. Listen, if you got like a little booty, seams with ruching over your cheeks, girl, that's like the perfect storm, okay? You're gonna have a nice little cute little peach back there because it just draws the eye right there and it always looks super bomb. A little puff here, it actually has a piece inside of here making the puff kind of stand out and happen. This would probably look cuter if my arm wasn't so big. And then, you know, because my arm also puffs out, <laughs> so it might look a little cuter and, you know, a more slender arm. All right, I'm definitely feeling this little white moment we have going on here. This is the only thing in this color, and I appreciate that they understand the plight of a girl with big arms, and the entire center is actually split open. So you can see it, and it's, you know, part of the style. You're going to catch some skin and stuff under there, but... It's actually for the most part kind of concealed and we just have these sort of billowy sleeves with a nice little uh, cuff around the wrist there to kind of stop it from overpowering and I love that we got uh, the door I love that we got a different option with our bottom half this time so this is a nice wide leg pant this is pretty much the perfect length for me you don't want them too short especially when they're wide it's kind of an odd look um, so this is a really good length for me personally this is a nice thick material as well like I feel like a little snowman right now. I'm definitely pretty bundled up in this thing. Of course, it has pockets, which is lovely. And then it has this uh, belt again, the tie, tie in the front, center, back. We do whatever you want with it, really. And then it's obviously just like a nice scoop neck up top. And it does, I have like a glitter beard. <laughs> um, it does zip all the way up. 
but not when you're me. Oh, this looks good from behind. Hold on. I hadn't seen it. Look at my little butt. It looks okay. I like it. Oh, this is so cute, you guys. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, I changed my mind. I love it. I liked it before. Now I love it. Now I saw like a little butt. Oh, now I love it. It is a stretchy sort of material, so it is going to have a little bit of give, but not a crazy amount. So if you don't want to be like super duper sucked in, um, I mean, it runs pretty true to size for, oh, dang, this doesn't even look that bad, honestly, from the side. Like, I have some belly, and I'm... I'm into this. Whoa, man, I wasn't expecting it. I'm being pleasantly surprised by some of these pieces because some of them I was like, that's amazing. That's me. That's Sarah Ray all day right there. Then other ones I was like, that's cute and everything, but <laughs> probably not on my body like this one. And you know what? I changed my mind. I love it. This is amazing. This is the most bizarre sensation ever when you put this dress on. Okay. It's obviously it's covered in these little pearls right and I mean the fit is there the fit is lovely the pearls actually make it look like it's um like a wrap kind of dress I mean it does cut across here there is material here there's a tiny like hem but it actually you know the way that they put the pearls on made it look like it's doing that which is cool so it's like a faux wrap guys this is bizarre it's a full sleeve and there's none in between the arm and you know the body here which is really important I love when they do that with sequins because it just makes it a lot more comfortable. And then the back is just, um, you know, the black with the visible silver zipper all down her back. And um, this is just, it's only odd. I mean, it's comfortable. This is super comfortable. There's nothing like, the fit is great. It's fashion to figure. The fit's great. Um, but underneath every little pearl, okay, is this little metal piece you know that's connecting it and these are different size pearls and everything but when you go to put it on you have all these little tiny like cold metal dots all over your body and it feels like my entire body is tingling even though I know that I'm not tingling and it's actually just little tiny pieces of metal that are cold and on my body I know the sensation's gonna go away as soon as it warms up, but that was really bizarre. I've been filming for an hour and a half, so I can only imagine how long this video is. <laughs> so this dress is kind of a faux wrap as well, and then it has um, the belt over here, which is not really a belt, actually. It's more of just a bow over here, and it has the black lining, and then it has this sort of like more sheer uh, panel kind of on top going over it. Full length sleeves, very stretchy, very cute, very fashion figure esque. And these last few dresses that I've been showing you, um, they are more on the regular sort of price that <laughs> you're probably used to seeing at Fashion Figure. There were just a couple of statement pieces for sure um, that ran a bit higher for sure than what you're probably used to seeing at Fashion Figure. Hey, this one's a go because I can I can do that. I, like, <laughs> I can get I can get my sounds right. Somebody improves with this dress. This is so cute. I feel like a Barbie. You know what I feel like? I feel like any other woman. And I don't mean that like, oh, I just feel like I'm nobody. I feel like any other woman that I watch on TV when I see being Mary Jane, right? I watched every episode. Like when I see these shows where there are professional women and they have on these fitted really nice little dresses, like that's what this dress reminds me of. This doesn't remind me of a plus size dress. This just reminds me of like that business woman dress. Like she's a business woman, but she's also hella cute and she's confident enough to walk in a room full of a bunch of men wearing hot pink and letting them know yeah, I'm very female, <laughs> okay, and I'm okay with that. Like, oh, I love this. This is so cool. So this does have a zipper on the back, but I actually pulled it on without doing the zipper at all. Oh, this looks so good. You guys, I'm really excited about the way my butt's been looking in these clothes. Um, I didn't do all the buttons on the neck, but it does go all the way up. And then it actually covers a little, for me, it covers these little like fat pockets I have here <laughs> under my um, underarms. And it's so pretty. It's like, I really love that so much of this stuff um, creates kind of a modest look in the chest area, but it's still very sexy and like, you know, like there's a lot of curves and stuff going on without it being all about boobs because if you guys know me, you know that I can't be all about boobs as much as I would love to be. I just don't have enough up there. So this is cute. That being said, if you were super busty, this might be a problem because it fits me quite well 
and um, you know I'm not like hella busty so this is so pretty though and then it doesn't really cling and it has a lining underneath this is cute as hell damn she snapped. So to sum it all up, my final thoughts, um, I think that the pieces that were a little bit um, at a higher price range than I'm used to seeing, and you're probably used to seeing with Fashion Figure, I do think that they delivered, and there's a reason that they had a higher price tag to them, like that jumpsuit with the full sequins and the whole cape and everything, like, I mean, that felt very luxe when I put it on. Uh, but as far as the fit and everything, oh, the pink dress that I just showed you, it didn't have any stretch in it, so just be advised on that one. Um, but because of the lining, like, oh, it just fit beautifully because, like, the top layer was just a little bit looser, but that lining, like, kept you kind of in and feeling good. Um, overall, the sizing is pretty much spot on like it normally is with Fashion to Figure. Again, I called out the ones that I thought were, like, a little bit um, on the smaller side, ones that you might want to look out for. But overall, I am impressed, very impressed by this line. Um, I'm super excited about it and I'm super excited about everything the fashion figure has coming like I feel like they've been killing the game obviously I'm a little biased um, fashion figure is basically like my work wife so these items were amazing though like this is bomb I'm excited about it and if you guys want to get any of these pieces I will have a link down below um, but also you guys can use that code SRV and you'll get 35% off of new arrivals including the Gabrielle Union uh, collection and it doesn't work on sale and redline like you know I normally give you a 10% off one but this is 35% off so that's obviously better um, and it doesn't last forever so if you're gonna get any of it like get it now and if you guys have any questions or anything about sizing if I didn't touch on something I will be around in the comments feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like it um, I would I can't wait to wear these like I really can't like I can't wait <laughs> all right but that's all I have for you I've been filming for like two hours so I'm sure you're sick of seeing my face and I'm sick of seeing my own face at this point so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one bye guys